Hey, Mel. <clears throat> um, and anybody else who is interested. Um, you might hear Sprocket in the background. I turned it down, though. But uh, I just want to show you how to use XSplit. Um, I don't really know too much since I only used it yesterday, but I'll show you what I know. Let's see. Once you have it open, here it is. I haven't created a shortcut because my computer's fucked up and I can't create shortcuts. But anyway, just open it up and... Whenever you open it up, it's going to look weird. It's going to just be zero, 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 and that's it. This is this looks a lot different, but let me just see. This is what's saved. Let me just close splits. This is what you're going to see, right? Typically. So if you just click here and edit splits, right click, edit splits, put in your game, Super Mario World. All right, pretty simple. They have a ton of games in here. You just pick it from the drop-down menu once you type it in. The run category it is your type of speed run, whether it's 11 exit, 96 exit, any percent, you know, whatever one. If you're doing the same one me and Sprocket are doing, it's the 11 exit. So you start typing it in, it, it tells you 11 exit, 11 exit, no cape. Um, just leave this stuff as is, it's fine. This is where your actual, actual splits come from. Here, I'll move this so you can see what's happening. See, so far, we've already made it look a lot different, and all we did was add a name and the type of thing it is, right? Um, this might not look exactly like yours, actually, because I'll show you in a second, but this is this is your segment, so like, uh, level one, and you're done. That's all you have to do. Insert below, level two, level, whoops, level two, okay? And uh, let's just see, let's just say boss. You can make this look fancy if you want to get into this later on and you, you get used to it. You can get, you can download like PNG files to use as the icons. It's like you'd be like, be like Fire Flower for this or Yoshi for this. And like if you want it to look cool, there'd be a little picture right next to it, but that's not important. Um, yeah, so that's all you have to do there. So quick rundown, put your game name. Like, okay, I'll, I'll start over, sorry. Right click. Edit, splits, put your game, put your category, and put your splits. Like level one, boss, whatever. However you want to split it up. And then that's what you're going to have there, right? Next thing, right click. Um, and sa make sure to save your splits as, because it's a it's a file that you can load up, like just in case you lose this. Like how I close my splits. If I close this, it turns back to this. So it's good to have them saved just in case. So, this one, uh, from file, where is it, right here, all right, see, I, I have all my saves, my splits saved, actually, this is fucked up. This shouldn't be here. Level four is Iggy's castle. I gotta, I gotta fix mine. But anyway, that's how you do that. So your splits are done. Next thing you want to do is edit your layout. And th this is all the stuff that you're including, like that I put in here. I have a timer. Uh, I have the title up here first, and you can drag this stuff around. Like I can put the title at the bottom if I want, or in the middle. But anyway, obviously it makes the most sense to put it at the top. So you can play around with this, put stuff where you think it looks the best. I have a detailed timer. I have my splits underneath that. I have my possible time save, which shows how much time I can possibly save on this particular segment. Um, the previous segment just shows you what I got on the last segment. And the world record I keep at the bottom, just in case people are curious. Um... But yeah, not all these will be here for you. You can remove some if you don't like them. You can add some, and it'll show you here, like, detailed timer, timer, splits, subsplits. Don't bother with subsplits. You don't need that stuff. Just put your splits in. That's fine. Um, information, let's see. Is there anything important here? There's the possible time save if you're interested. Uh, total play time, I wouldn't really recommend. Media, let's see... Okay, so you don't have to worry about much of this. 
Basically, all you got to look at is the information tab. See if there's anything in there you want. Text, title, whatever. And make sure you have splits and make sure you have a timer and maybe a detailed timer. That's all you got to worry about there. So pretty easy, right? Um, you can set the size. This just changes the size of the entire box. But you can even do that yourself just by dragging on the edges. Next thing, if you don't like the colors that are already here, you can change them. But I just leave them if you're not looking to make it too complicated. Just leave all this alone. You can change your uh, your text font. Like It'll be like this solid font here, like the numbers um, default. I just changed it to look a little more my style. So you can change all your fonts there. Um, let's see, did I change any of this stuff? I don't think I did. No, I left all this stuff the same. So, yeah, so basically in the layout, you're just changing your font to whatever you want. So you don't got to worry about that. Close that out. So quick rundown, just so that I'm not making this too complicated. All we did so far is we added a title. We added our splits. We made sure that we have whatever elements we want, like the detailed timer, the world record, whatever. So that's all we've done so far. It's pretty easy, right? Um, next thing, settings. This is, a, this is probably the most important thing. Um, setting up your hotkeys. So I have it set up so that to start a split or to move on to the next split, like if I beat level one and I want to move to level two, I hit space on the keyboard. Um, or like if I just want to start it completely, I just hit space. See? And then if I press space again, space again, space again. You know what I mean? Um, so yeah. And I have R to reset it. Also, one good, good thing to note is if you have a bunch of times and you go to reset, if it's an actual run, make sure to click yes here because it'll update your times over here with your best times. And then the next time you do it, it will show you the best time that you, you know, can work on beating. So make sure you, you update those while you're actually running. But anyway, so hotkeys, that, I have it set as space. That's fine. I'm just going to say no. And... Let's go back in here. Reset, I have it set as R. So like whenever I set it back to zero, I just press R. Um, undo split. Why did I do that? Okay, yeah, left and right arrow keys, I have to undo or skip. So like if I, uh, let's see, let's say I did this, right? I'm going through this level and I beat it and I forgot to press space. I could just move on. I can move on without taking any time or I can move back with the left and right arrow keys. So that's what that one's for. And let's see, what else? Undo, skip, pause. Okay, so pause I have as the enter key. I never pause, but like it's good to have a pause key. Um, I don't know what switch comparison is. I wouldn't worry about this. Make sure you set a key to toggle your global, because if you're in a game, it's, your buttons aren't going to affect this at all unless you have global hotkeys selected. Otherwise, you'd have to like Alt Tab, you know, switch over to this, and then and then use your hotkeys. That's why I have this activated. So while I'm playing a game, I can still use my keyboard and and use this. And if I want to turn the the hotkeys off, I can press Control. But um, yeah, so make sure you enable ho uh, global hotkeys. Put in the hotkeys you want. And everything else there is absolutely fine. You don't got to worry about it. So that's pretty much it. It's pretty simple whenever you, you, you know, figure out what you want. This number here, by the way, is the amount of times I've tried. Like whenever I was trying there. See, now it's the fourth attempt. And if I reset, now it's the fifth attempt. Anyway. So that's that. You can change a ton of other stuff whenever you get used to this stuff, but that's pretty much all you need. Hopefully this helped, Mal. If you have any other questions, ask me or uh, Sprocket, and we'll definitely help you out. Or Anion, I'm sure. Yeah, he would definitely help you out as well. Um, but yeah, like I was saying earlier too, you can change the size of this uh, if you want. Um, yeah, sounds good. You want to save? No. Exit. Hopefully that helped, man. Um, I'll talk to you later. Have a good day and good luck on your speed runs. It's pretty fun. Just don't get frustrated like me. Make sure you drink, <laughs> drink water and eat food and don't go too long without taking a break.
But yeah, talk to you later, bruh, from another ma.